Hello! <laughs> Welcome to the Crystal Crawford Show. The today's show was going to be a wing in it show, and to be honest, I might post it in both places. I have two live shows now. One is called Wing in It for an, a show for entrepreneurs, for entrepreneurs, and this is the Crystal Crawford Show. And today was going to be the Wing in It show. Hello, Miss Eve. But my, I got the time all fucked up with my guest. Uh, she thought we were going live at this time and then she had to remind me we were, it was a mess. I fucked it up totally today. So, <laughs> welcome to the Crystal Crawford show. It's now gonna be that show. And um, I don't remember exactly what I called this episode, but it was had something to do with like, when everything goes wrong, what are the things, do you stop or do you go around yourself? And I wanted to make this show about, um, a very, very, very key element, hi Nurhan, hi Lisa, of, hi Pauline. One of the key elements of creating anything, whether it's a business or a life, is what do you do when you start to feel wrong? That's it right there. I spent the, the weekend in a, in a class by Dane here called The Energetic Synthesis of Being. And I've taken a lot of Energetic Synthesis of Being classes. I've probably taken eight. And so I was, I was in there Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Today's Wednesday. I still feel so different. And I came away with um, a different sense of the choices I had available when it came to energies I become aware of. And let me give you a little bit of a backstory to how this topic got created. So today is Wednesday. I started the day out very early today. Uh, let's see, I got up at six and had my coffee got ready, had a meeting with um, a team to build a new business. I'm starting a new business called Brandemic, and we are gonna be doing um, branding stuff. So clarifying your message, um, getting you a new look, new logo, making sure your brand is like uh, congruent with you, and a bunch of other things. So we're, I'm creating that right now. So I had a meeting in the morning for that, and then I had, oh gosh, after that, oh, I had, I was creating some stuff for some new programs that I've got coming out. Then I had a meeting at 10, with a member of my team and we were starting to look at funnels for these different like products that I want to put out in the world. Hi Sasha. Anyway, it was a full morning and Wednesday is now my show day. Like I, I go live with you guys and I've started doing it in a couple different ways, right? So I'm starting this new show. I'm doing Crystal Crawford show. So there's a lot going on and I, I mess, I fucked up which is not like, that's not a really big deal, but you know, there, there's just, there's so much going on right now. Everything's so different from the class this weekend. And I'm starting to feel this morning, a lot of pressure. I was starting to feel a lot of pressure. And I was walking after my meeting with my team and team member, uh, I was walking into the bedroom, noticing that in my world, there was just like this pressure building in my head, in my world. And um, it occurred to me in that moment, that I had a choice. And there's been a lot of times like this where it doesn't occur to me that I have a choice, where I just go into pressure or feeling overwhelmed or feeling wrong or like, you know, I was gonna have to send another email and, and, and putting in line of whatever was going on in my world, all these things I think I should do based on what's just occurred, you know? And um, so I was like, oh, I fucked up the show, I'm gonna have to email my list, and oh fuck, I don't really have time for that, and I've gotta create a graphic. And so what started to happen based on what occurred was this list of things I had decided I had to do based on what needed to change. And so I knew that I didn't have the time. Like, it was just a bunch of factors. I knew I didn't really have the time. I knew I didn't wanna send out another email. I knew that it didn't really probably matter that much. I knew that even if you guys showed up live, it was gonna be fine. Even if nobody showed up live, it was gonna be fine. And so I'm, I'm walking around with all of this swirling through my world. And the reason I'm talking about this is because if you create anything, including living, you're gonna have these moments where things, I mean, nothing ever shows up the way you think, right? Like things are always gonna go sideways and haywire and there's gonna be pandemics and uh, whatever, whatever the fuck shows up, right? So you always have choice. And I talk about that a lot. But one of the things I got this weekend even more was that was what I'm about to tell you. So I'm walking around the house and I'm feeling starting to feel pressured and I'm starting to feel like I don't know if I can go live today. Maybe I'll just put off the show. I don't feel like it. My makeup's kind of weak today. I mean, you know, the list starts coming in. I'm like, I don't know, I'm gonna do it. And 
in that moment, of course, I looked at my choices. And one of the things I realized in that moment was that I was not giving myself, the only choices I was giving myself were the choices that were creating unhappiness. I wasn't actually giving myself the choices that just create happiness. Mostly because to create the happiness or choose the happiness, I had to let go of the unhappiness and just let it be there. I had to let go of the projections and expectations of myself that I have to send an email and I have to do this and I have to do this. And, and just, I just had to choose happy. I literally had to just turn away from all the shit that I was doing to make myself unhappy and just choose happy. And whatever happened in this friggin' energetic synthesis of being class, which by the way, if you haven't taken, is a fucking gift, um, gave me that the little bit of space that I required to go, okay, well, fuck it, I just want to be happy. I don't actually want to spend the rest of the day feeling like shit. So what choices can, can I make here that would actually create happy? So I have, uh, do you guys know Megan Trainer? You know her? She, anyway, her music for me is this, like, rocket ship into happy like you cannot put on a Megan Trainer song and be unhappy it's my same theory of like you can't eat ice cream and be unhappy try it try it one day try to eat ice cream and like be sad it doesn't work so I <laughs> so anyway I like threw Megan Trainer on my in my ears and I went to, and I got a shot of vodka because when in doubt drink it out seriously and um and I like I start changed my shirt and I like ramped up my hair and did some more makeup and just for fun and I was like I have choice here and this is what, this is the thing I want to continue to talk to you about because, you know, like I'm doing a lot, the, my May is like the month of business in Crystal Crawford land. So if any of you guys have a business, you have noticed like everything I'm talking about right now is business related. Um, and so, you know, I've got a seven days inside look thing starting on Friday and you can come and it's just, it's a live, I'm literally going to be creating the next program live online. So I'm going to show you my process, which as you might've seen this morning with the piano stuff that I did, I did a video earlier that is very, very, very fucking nonlinear. But part of the process of creating anything is dealing with yourself when you start going into overwhelm and wrong. So one of the first thing, one of the first tools that I, of course you always have is choice. You always have choice. Sometimes it doesn't seem so obvious as it sort of did for me today. And I want to recount a little bit of the conversation that I got in the energetic synthesis of being class this weekend as best I can in the way that I heard it to give you even another facet of something you can use to change energies. <laughs> cool. I'm glad Kim. So you guys have all, if you guys have watched any of my videos or you've followed Access Consciousness for any length of time, you've heard of the tool, Who Does It Belong To? Basically, here's, here's the gist. 99.999999% of all your thoughts and feelings and emotions aren't yours. And the way you know that is if you're having a feeling or you're doing a feeling or you're in it and you ask, hey, who does this belong to? And you get that it's not yours, that feeling will get lighter. And now there's a whole, that could be a whole video in and of itself, but I'm going to sort of leave it there and pin it for a second. So I've known that for seven years. I've used that tool and blah, blah, blah. In this class this weekend, which really, really, really dives into the energies of everything in a different way. <laughs> One of the things Dane talked about that really changed something for me is that every single thing, every single energy every single crunky place that has an edge or a bite to it or a heaviness to it is a lie or an implant. It's a lie or an implant. It's not real. It's not true. You can't why it out of existence. You can't, you can't go into why do I feel this way and get anywhere with it. Like it's either a lie, hi Justine, or an implant. That's it. And so I think it was Monday I was leaving I was watching the class with a friend and I was leaving and coming home and I was just annoyed. I was just annoyed by, I don't even know what I left and I was annoyed that day. And that's something else that happens as a result of these big three day classes is you leave and you are way more of you than you've ever been before. And you have way more awareness and like you can get annoyed way more easily. So I'm driving down the road home. It's been an epic weekend. I've had my bars run like 18 times. I'm like changed. I'm happy. And I'm also potent as fuck. And I'm driving home and I'm annoyed. And I'm, so I'm looking at the energy of that differently. Hi, Sue. 
I'm looking at the energy because I've just come out of an energetic synthesis of being, let's look at the energy. I'm looking at the energy of annoyed. And what I noticed was the energy of annoyed was not the energy of ease and joy and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. All of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. Say that 10 times, say that a hundred times and see if you can still feel annoyed. You won't because annoyed doesn't exist in all of life comes to me with ease, joy, and glory. So I'm noticing, now I'm really looking at the energy of that. I'm looking at the energy of annoyed and I'm like, it's heavy, it's like hurts, it's intense. And I, I'm noticing that the energy of annoyed is, I'm going to my head with it. I'm trying to figure out why I'm annoyed, what I'm annoyed at, um, why that would even be, why that's logical. So I immediately go to my head with it, which is not helpful because you can't change energy from your head. You can only go into a story from your head. So I'm in my head. And I was like, I, it all of a sudden, like I remembered every energy that has like a, a crunk or a heaviness or a, or a hit to it is either a lie or an implant. And so I literally like, I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed, annoyed. And I'm like, oh, you're a lie or an implant. And immediately like that energy just went, it just like poofed. So today, I didn't do the same thing today. Today I was like, kind of like getting over, feeling overwhelmed and doing this thing where I'm like, oh, I fucked up and I've got all these things I want to create and there's not enough time. Anybody ever done that with your business? There's not enough time to do everything I want to do. And I'm working myself into feeling fried. I can feel my body going into fried, you know? And it, it occurs to me that I'm doing this. And so the moment it occurs to you, that's the moment you have another choice, right? That moment where it's like, there's like, light that like shines in there and you're like oh my god I might have another choice starts to go it becomes a wedge you know and <laughs> so I get this little wedge in there and I'm like oh I don't have to go down so it's like oh it's a liar and implant right I don't have to go down this path I can literally just like turn away from this path and like start another thing like I can just choose something else and um and it changed the energy like completely. And so I was able to come on live with you and not be a total shit show because I actually just made a different choice inside. But, but to sort of round out that conversation of like, of energy, I don't know if I've ever gotten so much. Look, look, listen, I'm an access consciousness facilitator. I, as a facilitator, I'm always looking at the energy of whatever that person is saying in front of me or whatever I'm saying but you don't, you get it when you get it. <laughs> and I don't think until this weekend I really got, it. I'm like, oh, we're changing the energy of whatever's going on up here. Now the thing about creating stuff, piano songs, paintings, businesses, lives, books, is you are going to have energies come up period. Now, what will you be with those? <laughs> Question mark. I'm going to just like verbalize my punctuation for the rest of the show. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking solely for my benefit. I think you guys are way smarter than me. So, <laughs> so this is part of giving you an inside look into what it is like to be an entrepreneur. Okay. Look, I'm an access consciousness facilitator, yes, but I know a lot of facilitators that don't create their business. I also am somebody who's out there creating my business, connecting with you guys, like looking for ways to expand it, looking for ways to reach more people, always in it, you know, like I am an active entrepreneur. So as an active entrepreneur, I'm always like forging ahead. And when you start to forge ahead, you're going to have these, you're going to have these energies that come up that if you go into your head with them, you're gonna make real. They're gonna, you're gonna make them mean something about you. You know, this morning when I was dealing with me, um, I am little, thank God, I'm in my office. Do you like my office now? I'm like, I've got a little plant. Um, this right here is an old futon that we like folded in half and put a sheet on and it's like my little, it's like a little station where I can like cross my legs and do Facebook Lives. I'm literally cross-legged on the floor doing a Facebook Live, so fun. Um, I'm totally distracted now. Okay, so I walked from this room to my bedroom, which is like across the hall. And as I'm walking, I'm like, I am heading down a path of 
very, very, very unhappy. Hi, Johan. Hi, Rita. Is this what I want to choose? And in for a split second, I thought I had no choice because of everything that was going on. I fucked up the show. I fucked up the guest. I, I sent the wrong email. I had the wrong graphic made. Um, I like the list was so long. I just had a meeting with Liga, and there's so much to do, and I didn't realize there was so much to do. And creating my own energetic trap. And the thing that changed it was was create was choosing something that just created and opened up a new energy. So the moment I like put on my headphones, turned on Megan Trainer, you know, started jamming around to like. One of her, I don't even know, I can't look. You're on my phone right now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like, go look up Megan Trainer on Spotify and get some of her fast stuff and see if you can stay unhappy. I just want to, it's a challenge. And, you know, had a shot of vodka in orange juice. Cheers, still sipping on that. The energy changed. And um, that's going to be a key part of creating your business. You are never going to feel like you have it all together. I just want to give you a heads up right now. You are never going to feel like you have it all together. You are never going to feel it. Maybe you're going to have moments of feeling like you're on top of the world and like, you know, you got the, you know, the bull by the balls and the world by the tail. And then the rest of the time you're going to be wondering like if you did something wrong, like if you could have done something better, if more people might have signed up, if you'd done it different, if nobody signed up, you're going to wonder if they're what's, you're going to be constantly dealing with what's wrong with me that I'm not getting. You're welcome. <laughs> Why? Because that's how you're built. You make yourself wrong before you do anything else. That's like how you're built. You will make yourself wrong before you do anything else. And so this is, this, this is your constant thing to go around, to get around. How will you be with it? I do that with the burlesque soundtrack. Oh, that is so good. Thank you for reminding me. The other soundtrack that's really good is um, what Hugh Jackman, uh, The Greatest Showman. Oh, okay. We're going to develop a playlist. So this thing about energy, can I just talk about all of you guys that are into access consciousness? Did you know that this was about energy or did you think this is about like solving your problems? No, it's not. It's not about solving your problems. It's about energy. And so if you haven't ever yet checked out my awareness challenge group on Facebook, that's a really, really great place to start, to start to get how, where you are. Now we start you out with what I've called the core challenge, which is we're redoing it right now. We revisit it once in a while, but that starts to get you aware of what it would take to be willing to live the energy of what you would like your life to be. And as I was walking around this morning, we're in the middle of doing that challenge 30 times a day for 30 days. I'm like, what is the energy of what I would like my life to be? Hi, Maxine. Not this. So I get to choose the thing that changes the energy. And whether that's a tool or a walk or a vodka or a music, like what are you going to choose? Are you going to stay in what you've decided you have to do, decided you've done wrong? Are you going to make yourself feel worse and worse and worse and worse? Or are you going to choose something that's going to change the energy? Gala. It's not about solving your problems, no. And listen guys, I've been playing with the Access Consciousness tools for over seven years now. Um, these tools have radically transformed my life, mostly because I have taken these tools and like applied them. And that's all you have to do. Literally all you have to do to change your life is you listen to the tools and then you use them. That's it. If you do that, you will change your whole life. <laughs> But I will tell you that some of the tools, some of the tools are actually all of the tools use words, but what's really the thing that changes things are the energies behind the words. It is not about doing the tool, interesting point of view, I have this point of view, interesting point of view, I have this point of view, interesting point of view, I have this point of view, while you're shoved up into your head. It is about being interesting point of view. I have this point of view with any energy that isn't like ease, joy, and glory. Hi, Marilyn. That's it. And then that energy changes and then everything changes from there. So this may be a short video because I kind of feel like I'm going to start talking in circles in a second. <laughs> but the, the big message I want to ask, tell you, ask you, say to you is 
your biggest job while you are creating your business, creating your life is going to be what you are choosing to be with you. Because as you move forward, shit's going to come up. It just will. It just will. You will in different moments feel overwhelmed, frustrated, annoyed, exhilarated, incredibly happy, totally joyful. Um, you'll have all these feelings, all these things. And your job will be to be with you. And are you going to descend into the depths of whatever self-created cesspool you've created for yourself? You've instantly become aware of like the whole world who does overwhelm, the whole world who does projections and expectations. Like that's what happens, by the way. Like as you're creating and you jump into a, a train, a train of thought, that train is full of people who have that same thought, by the way. And all of a sudden you feel as fucked up as everybody else. Why? Because you're in the same train. So what's required? Jump off the motherfucking train and like get into that open field over there and dance your face off to Megan Trainer. That's what's required or whatever it takes. And, and then keep the fuck going. Keep going. Because I think the second part to this that I didn't realize till just this moment is like, don't let that stop you. You aren't wrong, but you will feel wrong over and over and over and over. You aren't, but you'll feel it. You aren't, but you'll feel it. You aren't, but you'll feel it. So just because you feel it, does that make it true? All right, I'm gonna read some of these comments. If you guys have a question, please throw it in here and I will respond. That piece of information, it's not about the words, it's the energy. It's in the bars manual, I guess. Sometimes I just happen to try to believe just the words will do the job. How does it get better? Yeah. Listen, Jefferson, you're not by yourself. And I don't, I don't actually, hi, Jasna. I, I don't know that, I think this is one of those things that you get it when you get it. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't make yourself wrong. Imagine that. Imagine that, that we would make ourselves wrong for not getting that this is about the energy. <laughs> this is my shocked face. Don't make yourself wrong for that. It's like you get it when you get it. But I want to talk more about it because I'm getting it in different ways all the time too, you know? And it's, I, I'm, I don't know about you, but I'm a doer. I know how to do things. I, I'm, I'm good at doing things. I can do things consistently and persistently and tenaciously. And sometimes I can forget why I'm doing those things until I remember and then I'm like, hey, whoa. and then it shakes me up and then I change the energy, right? So I'm good at doing and you are, you might be too. What I am not very strong in and I'm practicing all the time is receiving and being. And when you start to be with these things that come up as energies and not realities, like, so you're annoyed, you're frustrated, you're overwhelmed. The moment you try to go into your head, you're trying to find the reason why they're occurring. Why doesn't get you anywhere? But when you are present with them as energies and you start to call them what they are, they're either a lie or an implant. That's it. Any heavy, sticky energy is either a lie or an implant. The moment you acknowledge something for what it is, it starts to dissipate. Because whatever is true is light. Even if what's true is it's a lie or an implant, it's light. That's it. So you get with these energies, you're like, oh, this is either a lie or an implant. And you're like, okay, I would keep, and, and, and what's interesting is you, I almost don't need to go a step further than that once I get present with the energy and I'm like, oh, it's either, excuse me, it's either a lie or an implant. It just changes. So there's almost not another step after that because once you acknowledge something for what it is, it just changes. What I notice is that when I stay in wrong, I typically have a very good reason for that, like not logical reason just very good from my point of view, like if I let this go, then I'll be totally free, which is too easy. I'm not saying it's logical. Or if I let this go, it'll just change and that's too easy. Usually everything to why I won't let something go is because it will be too easy. And so are there is there anywhere in your world that you're avoiding a too easy life? And everything that is times a godzillion where you destroy and create it all. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. I have no sense of time today. Oh, okay, good. So, and if that crazy statement is new to you, go to theclearingstatement.com and <laughs> you can get all the dirty, down and dirty on that. But yeah, so for you to commit to you and never give up on what you're creating, no matter how long it takes, no matter what it takes, is going to require you to choose a way of being with you when you start to feel wrong because you will you just will it's going to come up over and over and over and over and over 
and that will probably be your biggest job. You know, if you've got an online business, you think maybe your biggest job is like building your audience or getting in front of eyeballs or getting opt. Yes, there's going to be a lot of work to do to build an online business. And if you like to work, it doesn't really feel like work. So that's thing number one. But thing number two, your biggest job is going to be being with you in the moments where you start to make yourself wrong. And when you notice, does anybody feel lighter? Do you guys feel lighter when you start to make yourself wrong? Which means that wrongness is either a lie or an implanted point of view. So what will you be with that information? Will you get present with the energy of wrong and acknowledge it for what it is? Or will you continue to make it real and try to find out why you feel that way? Listen, this episode is a lifetime practice. I, this is not something you're going to institute tomorrow and like, just like that. Because who the fuck talks to you about this? Nobody. Um, Jefferson says, I'm a doer too. My thing with creating is a constant doubt that if I will have time to create it all, so many ideas, then I get suddenly stuck that if I do one, I can't do the other. Yeah. So again, that, I mean, doubt is an implant. So this is the thing, like you sort of, you have to educate yourself on what things actually are. If doubt's real, then we're fucked. If fear is real, then we're fucked. If they're implants, then there's a possibility beyond them, right? Like if, if so there's 24 implants specifically, and you don't have to know them all to know that it's an implant because you can look at something and go, does it make you lighter to have doubt or does it make you heavy and sticky? If it's heavy and sticky, it's a lie or an implant. So it's like, it's, it's recognizing that that's a lie or an implant and going, okay, well, do I want to stay in implant land or do I want to create beyond it? And that's the practice right there, right when you're in the sticky, right when you're in it, like right when you think you can't or you're overwhelmed or you're like, whatever, that's the moment right there. You're in that moment where you got to go, what am I going to be with this energy? It's all energy. It's not real. This is all energy. All these lies are these sticky things, these heavy things, these light things, these expansive things. It's all energy. And the moment you acknowledge energy for what it actually is, it changes. It's fucking miraculous. It's actually physics, by the way. That is quantum physics. That's not even mere. But the fact that we can talk about it and you can actually apply it is fucking miraculous because there ain't very many people on the planet right now doing that. So you're very different. But that is, that's your biggest job is being with you when it starts to get heavy and sticky and going, okay, what am I going to be with this? And remembering either lie or implant and getting present with the energy. I want to tell you, say one more thing about getting present with energy and then we'll go. You know you're in your head with something when you ask yourself a question and you look up. If you're doing this about something, you're thinking. If when somebody asks you a question or you're looking at something or you're perceiving something, your eyes will naturally go down. So how do you know when you're doing interesting point of view if you're being with an energy? Your eyes will naturally go down. I don't know why that is, it's physiological. But literally when you start to get present with an energy, your eyes start to go down. So check yourself out, see if, it, if you're willing to be that great a facilitator of yourself. I have moments where I am not that great. This morning I was accidentally great. <laughs> but Anyway, I, I hope that contributes a lot. Um, and if, if you do want an inside look into what it takes to create something online, you are invited and you can go to my website and find that. Uh, it's actually crystaltraycrawford.com slash inside look. Um, but I did want to riff on what is my biggest inside tip, which is what I am with me when wrongness starts to come up. So if this gifted you something, please share it with your friends. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in Inside Look or I'll see you next week on Sweet Old Facebook Live.